What is up? I'm your vegan food explorer. I've got me and my main man, Mickey, today. And we're gonna give you a review of the new, new-ish bacon lardons from But This Isn't. We absolutely love their bacon. And what is the only thing that's nicer than bacon? It's bacon lardons. Okay, so I picked these up from Sainsbury's. Um, they cost me three pounds, which you get, what's the grams? It's a uh, total is 120 grams, but you get two packs of 60 grams. So that's one pound 50 per box, which let's face it is, is pretty pricey, but they are supposed to be the absolute best on the market. Um, and calorie wise, each half contains, um, so half of a pack, of a half of a half of a pack is 100 calories, so it's 200 calories in there. So getting fairly average bit of calorie for there, but let's face it, this is a premium vegan meat, um, and you're gonna pay for it. So that does set the standards pretty high because for one pound fifty per meal between split between two of you, 75p for half of that, it needs to needs to perform. Let's have a closer look, and then we're gonna chuck it in a spaghetti carbonara. Okay, let's take a little look here. So, it's quite neat, this little thing. You just kind of crack it, crack it off, and they pop out. Whoa, almost on the floor, which is, I quite like that. Um, we can recycle this. Um, this is plastic, and remember what t-shirt we're wearing today? We're wearing the worn plastic t-shirt. So, we're gonna try and recycle as much as possible. I reckon we can recycle this. Can't recycle this film, but Whatever, you gotta be practical these days. So once I peel away this plastic, I can see the bits of bacon in here. Um, first of all, I just wanna say this does peel back much better. Normally they get stuck on there, but this peeled back really nicely. So already I am hit with the most amazing bacon smell. Oh, they smell so good. They look identical. You can already see just how juicy and kind of moist they are. I mean, look at the side of that. That's gotta be the oil, um, but my word, they smell amazing. We're gonna have a quick look at the ingredients. Now we know kind of what's in there. So these are soy and soy and pea protein um, based lardons. I love the word lardons, it's great. Mainly soya, um, which I believe is what they use in their chicken, in their vegan chicken. Um, then the flavoring, I mean, that's generic, but who knows what that is, but I assume that's what gives it its, its amazing bacony smell. Um, then you just got your kind of, you know, your normal culprits, culprits. Um, oh, the smoke flavouring, that's what I was interested to think. I think that's going to have a real big um, factor into how, how it smells. Um, and then the rape soil oil. So I'm interested to see. So for 100 grams, it's pretty low in fat, actually, which I'm quite pleased about. I mean, the protein is through the roof because it is essentially pure, pure protein. But... Um, and the only the fat it does have is hardly saturated. So on the nutrition wise, it's looking not too bad. How do we cook it? We pan fry it um, for five minutes. We're gonna try and do something similar to the front, which is kind of a bit of a carbonara, which is absolutely famous for having delicious lardons in. Anyway, let's get cooking and we'll get the all important taste test. Okay, so we're out of the, out of the kitchen and we've got our delicious creamy 100% vegan carbonara. We've got some pasta, and then we've got some mushrooms, spinach, and then we've actually used silken tofu just to make up that carbonara. Um, and then we've got our lovely bits of bacon lardons that you can see right there. When they were cooking, they were sizzling away because they've got that oil in them. They really sizzled almost like, because it is essentially fat, it's like a bacon lardon would have that fat oozing out. But in this way, we've got the oil, which works really, really well. So let's have a closer look. So we fried them um, and then added the sauce in. It went really, really nice. You can see here, they, I think they look absolutely identical to bacon lardons. Um, they really hold the sauce well. They stick, they're squidgy. They almost have, it looks like they've got that layer of like fat and then the, the meat. Um, I think they've done an absolutely amazing job. But let's do the taste test. 
Okay, here we go. I'm really excited to try this as I've, I've been in the kitchen and smelled it. Right, let's go. Let's just get some pure lardons. Okay, you ready? Those are, I've, I have to say, I'm going to try one more, but hang on. I've got to say, they are absolutely, oh, the light, the light's gone. That's how good these are. They're causing electrification all over from my brain and my taste buds. Those are absolutely amazing. That Those first ones I had were really juicy, kind of squidgy, just kind of melted in my mouth. Then I had another one which it must have been just caught on the frying pan because it went really super crispy. It was like, it was chewy, but in a really good way. That was absolutely amazing. And then it bursts and you get that full on bacon, uh, lard on fat, the, the tenderness. It was just amazing. Three pounds for the whole pack. We ended up putting the whole pack in and splitting it between, between two of us. Um, so three pounds, you're looking at one pound 50 each, which is pretty pricey um, but there are cheaper versions on the market but I have to say these are the absolute bee's knees the vegan bee's knees for me definitely worth it if you've got the cash you've got to try it out the only thing that I can think could even come close to competing with this would be the brand new Richmond bacon um, and slicing that up into lardons but it doesn't come as lardons so I don't know but that is launching this week so we'll have to do a full-on taste test to see if it can dethrone the this isn't bacon lardons let me know if you've had them in the comments below let me know what you think and of course we'll see you in the next video